Could you make me a deal if I just bought the rest of the Legos? I can make you a heck of a deal if you bought yeah? the rest of the Legos. Okay. Good morning, how you doing? Hi, how are you? Good. You need baseball. Yeah, how much is it? Um, five bucks. Five bucks for the glove? Five bucks for the glove. Okay. Yep. If I just make a big pile of stuff, you know, just like, if I just make a big pile of stuff, you work with me? If you need catchers here, here's a full set of Mizuno. Okay. Um, helmet, mitt, everything. Yeah, I'm just going to make a big pile of stuff right here. A bunch of electronic stuff, that's cool. Oh, you have Legos? That's all Legos. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, you do have a lot, jeez. Yeah, quite a few years of saving Legos. Wow. I buy trumpet, but didn't take my music really cool set here, because it actually makes a couple of different things. Oh, that's neat. It makes this and that. Huh. So those are pretty neat little, that is cool. little things, but man, it took them a long time to do it. But yeah. Right. That's what you need. <laughs> Let me see how much I owe you so far. Okay. I've got 10, 250, three gloves, a bat, and this. Let me see the price on that. That I put down for five. Which five is bucks. A really good deal. Okay. It's never even been. So then what will I owe you for five, everything? Five. 35. 35? Uh -huh. Okay. Could you make me a deal if I just bought the rest of the Legos? I could make you a heck of a deal if you bought yeah? the rest of the Legos. Okay. What would you want for them? Um, for all of them? Mm-hmm. There you go. Thank you. Um, 30 bucks? 30. Is that a deal? Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it, man. Thank you for working with me. Absolutely. There you go. Great. Thank you. I'll just back right up if that's okay. okay. Yep. Absolutely. Fifty cents each for the games. Yep. Okay. Cool. Just, I mean, I'm sure everything is still in there, but just open them up and make sure that the okay. CD or whatever it was is it still there. I got thirteen of them, and then I owe you a buck for this. It's uh, 750. One, we'll just round up to eight. I'm not worried about the 50 cents. Thank okay. you. You have any other video game stuff? You care if I use this box? Uh, yeah, carry? Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Since nine figure. Yeah, that's hi, me. Hi, Tracy. Tracy, nice to meet you. Uh, watch your YouTube channel. Oh, thanks. Honored that you come to my yard sale. Oh, is this your sale? Yeah. <laughs> you doing good so far? Well, we just started, so. Yeah. But yeah, so we you have good. lots of different things here. So. You got a great day for it. I know. When I was watching your channel, like, I wonder if he's going to come to my Ah, <laughs> that's awesome. You look kind of local. Yeah, yeah. small yeah. world. Well, and, thanks for watching it. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. But I do have something I think you might be interested in. Oh, really? Yeah, come inside. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but we have, like, this is like the complete set of most of them are still Oh, in cool. The, yeah. The it's like the complete Perry Mason series of Perry Mason. Wow. A lot of seasons. I think it's the whole thing. Raymond Burr. Yeah, and I think only one of them was opened. And then we have like, some gold, I think the Gomer Pile stuff. And a lot of this other stuff was like Christian-y stuff. 
but you're more than welcome to look through any of it. So okay. If you're interested. Yeah, sure. It's gone with the wind. Because I was going to take them to like half price books. Mm -hmm. Because I thought they would do better than at like, you know, garage sale. Right. What would you want for them? Well, you know, I, I'm not really sure because you tell me what you're interested in. Like I said, I know you're probably not interested in all of those. My father-in-law's birthday is tomorrow. tomorrow I know he's a big like um, Andy Griffith fan, so I bet he'd probably like Gomer Pyle. Pyle. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Thanks for pulling these out. Oh no problem, because I thought I thought if he comes to my garage sale, I'm gonna show him these these DVDs. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's kind of cool. Keeping the series of the Bible. All right. Tell you what, these this stack right here. What would you need for those? Um. $25? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. There you go. Thank you, Tracy. No problem. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure meeting you. Thanks. Good luck with the sale. Thank you. Thank you. How much are your books? Oh, 50 cents a piece. Okay. I just put a bunch of books out there, too. Okay. I mean, this is sold. I'm just trying to. But I'll, you can take your time. He's not ready. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you have any software, too, like Adobe software? No, I don't. My daughter's a photographer. Oh, okay. So, these are mostly books that you use on the stand. These are all a balance. Okay. No, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You get all the same. Eight. eight. Okay, and this is a dollar. Okay. Nine. Nine. Ten. Ten. Twelve. Because you had two on this. All right. Oh yeah, a dollar. Shirts are a dollar a piece, I think, right? Dollar. One. There's two of those. Four. How much is that? Um, a couple bucks. Okay, six bucks. Do you have a GameCube? I do. Do you? Would it be for sale? Uh, probably not. Okay. I'm kind of sentimental about those. Kind yeah, of sure. Things. Yeah. Any other games that you're selling? Video game stuff? Um. You know what? Not, not that I know of, but if you leave your name, something might pop up. Yeah, sure. Um, here, let me get you a bag for these. Appreciate it. Yes. What's the story on this piece? Oh, let's see it. Well, so that's Prague. Um, in 1925. Is it like a lithograph or something? Um, I think it's an engraving. It's an engraving. Huh. So it was made with a plate, you know, inking it. And okay. And put it in press. And wow. So it's, don't know how many were issued at the time, but, yeah. you know. Do you, do you want to set yourself down? So you yeah, can sure. Go. It was an antique or a flea market. Is this, is that the artist you think? Yeah. Yeah. And then Praha is... Prague and Czech. Oh. So then it's 1925. That's why we know the age for it. And plus, this is a famous, this is like their famous landmark, this church. Interesting. All right, I'll buy it. Great. It's really nice. It is cool, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Huh. I thought it was me. What are you asking for it? Five bucks. Five bucks, huh? I'll give you five bucks for it. I mean, it, it, I mean, it all, you know, me. Huh. I yeah, I I'll buy it. it Can I leave it here and keep looking around? Huh? I'll leave it here and I'll keep yeah, looking around, okay. but I'll buy it. Okay. Found one more thing for a buck. So you six bucks. Yeah, I thought that was kind of neat. I mean, it is cool, yeah. I thought was going to What is that? Yeah. I mean, is it, is it a heat lamp or is it a, some, some, one girl said she's uh, It says a radiation lamp. Are you selling the bag? I'll tell you what, I would consider it though. No, um, the well, bag's not I for guess, sale. Yeah, I would sell the bag. Okay, what would you want for it? Um, probably five dollars. I'll buy it. Yeah, it's five dollars. And then I've got a patch too. 
Okay, not you Kings Island, that's a dollar. Sure. Okay, so five, six, and what we say on that? Five? Five, yep. So that's eleven. This is two. Well, thirteen. And then five is eighteen. Uh eighteen, yeah. All right. That's cool. Yeah, we had a bunch of those John Deere. Yeah. Would you do three on that? Huh? Would you do three on that? Uh yeah. All right, I appreciate it. Oh yeah, I see the John Deere's too. Yep. There you go. The rest of them, you're asking 27. How about 20 bucks? Can that work for you? Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I had a huge haul of stuff today, guys. This was the best day I've had in weeks. The van is just like totally loaded with stuff. I'm gonna pull all this out and show you guys what I found. I got a maple baseball bat. This is like a youth size it's 30 inches i paid two bucks typically i don't mess with wood bats but maple bats are more expensive new i'm guessing this was 30 or 40 so i'm hoping to get about 20 for it got this vintage pogues triple a cincinnati bag just kind of like a little travel bag type thing i paid five bucks for it i don't know what it's worth but it's really cool i like collecting cincinnati stuff and at the same sale i got a patch from Kings Island. It's a Cincinnati amusement park. Uh, 10th anniversary of the Beast roller coaster. I paid a buck for that. And I got a box of cigarette candy. So <laughs> I remember eating this stuff as a kid. Uh, they've got the display box and it said 50 cents a pack. And there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs. So it was $4.50. Do they even still sell this stuff? I mean, maybe they do. You'd think they'd want to discourage kids from smoking. This was in there too, and she said it was candy, but it's I don't see how it is. I mean, like, you can see the cigarettes in there. I don't know if this is like maybe a, like a gag or something. I don't know. If anybody knows what this is, what this spring's for, leave a comment below, let me know. Got a bunch of books at one sale. I think I got like 10 of them and they were 50 cents a piece. A lot of them were like Adobe Creative Suite. Uh, it says classroom and a book. And in the back it's got um, a DVD. It says classroom and a book, Adobe Flash Professional CS5. I doubt that that is actually a copy of the software. But if it is, it's worth a ton. I've sold Adobe CS5 and CS3 and some of those other ones, and they're worth a lot of money. I remember I sold one of them for like $300, $400, something crazy like that. So I figured it was hard to go wrong for 50 cents a piece, even if it's just like the instructional books, I'm sure they have some value. Here's like Dreamweaver, the Photoshop. Another Photoshop. Adobe Fireworks, Adobe Design, and there were a couple Bibles there that I picked up. This is a teen study Bible, and Streams in the Desert, Devotional Readings. Those were 50 cents a piece, too. On sale, I got a GameCube game. It's Hulk. I paid a buck. I really don't know if it's worth anything, but if nothing else, it'll be a tester for when I find GameCubes. I got this Nintendo Wii Speak. I guess it's for the Animal Crossing game. That was a dollar. Got these cool Star Wars pens from episode one. There's uh, looks like there's four of them, four or five of them in there. They were only a couple bucks. I thought they were pretty neat. And I got two Blink-182 shirts at that sale. They were a dollar each. Don't, oh, they are tour shirts. Awesome, okay. So these are from the 2011 Honda Civic Tour. And I'm pretty sure this came through Cincinnati. August 24th, Cincinnati, Ohio. No idea what these are worth, but I've done pretty well with uh, concert shirts and band shirts before, so. I got a whole box of PC games, and this garage sale wasn't even on my list. This was a bonus sale that I just saw signed for, and I pulled in and found all these there. Um, they were 50 cents a piece. Obviously, I didn't bother talking them down on the price. And these are all big box PC games, um, so if you guys have ever selling PC games, if you have the original big box, that's what they call it, they call it big box PC, and uh, it definitely adds to the value. So, I got, I think about 10 games in there, I'll pull those out for you. I got this joystick, the Gravis Blackhawk. 
that was a buck. This thing's definitely vintage. You can see the, the old connection on there. It's like a Mickey's fun, fun pack. Uh, U.S. Navy fighters. Road thrills. Real war. I sold a few of these before. The um, Jane's combat simulations, and I've done okay. This is the Air Superiority Collection. These are all used, but I think they're all complete. No One Lives Forever 2. Mech Warrior 4. Flight Simulator 98. Star Wars X-Wing. Another No One Lives Forever. And I think this one is the best of the bunch. This is Street Fighter 2. I tried looking up some comps on the big box, and it seemed like only foreign sellers had it. Yeah, this thing's got the original owner's manual. And these are actually floppy disks. So there's three floppy disks for this game. Pretty cool. Yeah, this thing's in like mint condition. If I had to guess, Street Fighter might be worth 30, 40 bucks. I got this heat lamp. Honestly, I just thought it looked really cool. Um, he only wanted five bucks for it. It was made by the Spurdy company out of Cincinnati and it says Spurdy irradiation lamp so I guess it's some kind of sun lamp heat lamp something like that it says combining ultraviolet and infrared that doesn't sound very safe 500 watts I think we should plug this thing in and see if it works It's like the ultraviolet works. I don't think the infrared works. Pretty cool. This is definitely gonna be a local sale. I don't wanna ship this. It's in pretty bad condition, but I think somebody's just gonna buy it and stick it in a room as a conversation piece. So I don't know, I might ask $50, $100, something like that. I got a handmade Ronald McDonald doll. <laughs> I just thought this thing was so cool. Somebody put a lot of time to this. They even got the golden arches all over him. Uh, paid five bucks. No clue what he's worth, but <laughs> I had to get him. Got some crafty stuff at one sale. It caught my eye because it was new in the packaging. This is chocolates. I'm not sure. Just like different colored chalks. Those are a dollar. And then this whole set here was three dollars. This is stamp, like stamp ink pads. They're all sealed, so I'm hoping they're not dried out. Um, I saw comps that these were selling for about 20 bucks. Got this old hair dryer for a dollar at the same sale that I got the sun lamp from. This is an Oster Air Jet. Definitely vintage, has a cool look to it. Those old switches too, that's neat. Um, I saw comps, this was selling for around 15, 20 bucks. First sale of the day where I found the Legos, I also got some baseball gear. That was by far the best sale of the day. I got this Easton bat. It is an XL1. I gave five bucks for it and I think it's worth between like 40 to 60, something like that. Paid five a piece for the gloves too. Uh, this is a Rawlings catcher's mitt. Nothing special. I think it's a Junior's, probably a $20 glove. This one is a little nicer. This is a Rawlings player preferred. The lace in here is the trapeze style. Uh, so as soon as I saw that, I knew it was a little bit of a nicer glove. This one, I can probably get maybe 50 bucks, maybe a little bit more, but that's kind of a kind of a ballpark I'm thinking. This one here is also the trapeze and it is Rawlings Custom Collection. It's a higher end glove too, probably $40, $50 range. Also at that first sale, I got this wooden Batman sign for 50 cents. And I got this visible V8 engine model for five bucks. I didn't look inside to see if it was complete or used or what, so I'm gonna take a quick peek. It looks like everything's in there. I'm not sure that they ever took this out and tried to assemble it. It's got all the bags and everything. One sale I went to, the lady having the sale recognized me. Her name is Tracy. So Tracy, if you're watching this, really appreciate your support. She took me inside and she had a bunch of DVDs that I'm pulling out of the bag here. A lot of seasons. There was a lot of seasons of Gomer Pyle and Perry Mason. And tomorrow, Whitney's dad 
we're doing a birthday thing for him uh, at a restaurant. We're having a little birthday party. And I know he loved Andy Griffith, so I'm thinking he would like Gomer Pyle. So there are, yeah, there's five seasons of Gomer Pyle. This might be the whole series. One, two, three, four, and five. I guess this is the final one. So that'll make a really good gift for him. I paid $25 for everything. So if I can sell the Perry Mason DVDs for 25, then it's kind of like I got a free gift for my father-in-law. Tracy, it was really nice meeting you and thanks for the deal on the DVDs. I got this piece here. They called it an engraving. They said that likely there was some kind of uh, stamp that pressed onto it and made the engraving. And it's stamped 1925 and there's an artist that's hard to make out. And she said it's from Prague. They were asking eight bucks. I went ahead and paid it. Anytime I can find like old artwork like this, that's really cool. I just go ahead and pick it up and then I'll do some research later and see if it's worth anything. Also got a nice scale there. Uh, this is a Royal RC40. It's got the uh, charger and everything. And I paid five bucks. I got all these toys at the last sale of the day. Uh, there's some John Deere, Case, New Holland. It's a bunch of farm toys, and when I picked them up, I could feel they had some weight to them. They weren't just little crappy toys. I got everything here for 23 bucks, and it's been a while since I've sold this type of stuff. Not sure what it's worth, but I will almost definitely part it out and just kind of sell it piece by piece. That one was made by Ertl. Wonder what these are. It's got a maker on here somewhere. Yeah, Ertl. Pretty big pieces, so hopefully there's some money to be made here. Here are the Legos. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven boxes, bins, tubs, all together. I weighed everything, and it's a little over a hundred pounds of Legos. Just a massive amount of Legos. Oh yeah, and then there's all these manuals. There's <laughs> there are a ton of manuals in here. I was gonna buy one box, I set it aside. I don't remember which one it was. And I'd put it with my pile of stuff. And I wasn't sure I wanted the rest. I think this was the box I set aside. And I was just like, you know, what do you want for the rest of it? She said $30 I was shocked. I thought she was gonna come with a much higher price than that. There is a lot of work to be done with these. Um, a lot of people don't buy Legos for the reason of like sorting and just that there's, it's tedious, it's a lot of tedious work, but I like doing it. I remember playing with Legos when I was a kid, so I kind of like goofing around with these things. A lot of them are already pre-built, so I'm probably going to sell the built ones as it is. If you guys have ever bought Legos before and you have tips or tricks for how to sell them, let me know in the comment section below. Typically what I do is like, I'll pull out the minifigures and try to sell some of those, you know, as like a lot or separately or something like that. And then obviously some of these are already built. So the ones that are built, I can just, just sell them like that. Got a lot of work ahead of me, but should be fun. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.